Hi, this is Carrie from Scrapyard Chicks. Oops, sorry, shaking the camera there. And I'm here to show you what our project is for the week. It's this really great little photo wallet. And the way this works is this is, um, it's six and a quarter inches wide this way, so you can kind of get an idea of about what size it is. Um, it just opens up and then unfolds. And you can just see it's got three different sections. This bottom section is a little pocket. Um, this middle section um, folds out two ways. To incorporate lots of great pictures um, and this top section also folds out like this so it's just a really fun project for our subscribers we will also have kits of this one on our website we're using some brand new paper from Bella Boulevard that we just got in that's just hitting the stores now this is their new um, uh, set of patterns where it's got uh, kind of a floral pattern on one side and it's got a dot on the other side and it's all um, monochromatic so it really coordinates with all their pieces and then we're using some of these new pieces that are brand new uh, I don't even know if these are in the stores yet we think we might have got the first shipment of those um, we're using um, some of this side and then also it's got this great dot on the back so it makes it really fun to do on um, this project and we're using one of their sticker sheets that we love um, to put this project together so anyway so this um, we've got it's this little photo wallet is our project for the week and if you're a subscriber stay tuned and we'll um, you will show you all of the directions to put this great little project together thanks okay the first thing we're going to do is we're going to do the wallet construction so um, for that we want we need one piece of cardstock and you're going to cut the first piece at six and a quarter by twelve and then the second piece you want six and a quarter by five and three quarter and so the piece that you actually cut off you can turn that and cut that at six and a quarter we're going to join these together into one long strip of cardstock so go ahead and we want it to overlap a half inch go ahead and put your adhesive along um, the sh one of the short edges of your cardstock and what I like to do is using my use my scoring tablet to just line those up so I can put that at the mark where I can see the half inch overlap and then I'm just going to go ahead and lay that other piece of cardstock on top so we end up with a long piece of cardstock that's six and a quarter this way by seventeen and a quarter this way so we are going to go ahead and we're going to score this we want our first score to we want like a two and a two and a quarter um, that's going to be our little over that little flap. Well, with the score pal, unfortunately, they don't have a two and a quarter. So what we're going to do is we are going to, and I put these in your directions too. If you have a regular scoring tool or using a ruler, you don't need to worry. You can just follow the directions and and kind of go along. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to position the top of my paper at the two inch mark. And what it does have is it has one at four and four and a quarter. So I can do my first score line at the four inch which since I moved it in two inches, it's going to be two inches from the top. So just go ahead and score that at four, and then again at four and a quarter. So that gives me that little um, fold over bit that I want at the top. So I've scored that the four and the four and a quarter. I'm going to go down, I'm going to score it at eight and a half, because after those, those first little marks, I want to go every four and a quarter inches down the length. And of course it doesn't all fit because it's longer than my scoring tablet. So I'm going to score that at eight and a half. Now I can't go any farther, so I'm going to take my paper, I'm going to flip it around, I'm once again going to line it up at the two inch mark, and I'm going to score it once again at uh, four and a quarter, because what I want at the bottom is I just want a little bit of a fold over too, so I'm going to score that again at four and a quarter, and then once again at eight and a half. And like I said, all of this is in your directions. So what I end up with is I end up with a little flap at the top, and it's got just a little bit of a, like a... Uh, gusset kind of for fullness like that. Then I've got my next bit right there and it just keeps folding. And at the very bottom I've got this little piece that I'm going to do that like this and I'm actually going to fold this up and that's going to be a little pocket. So when my wallet is all folded up, look how cute that is. It's going to unfold like that. So I've got this long piece, so I've got this little pocket at the bottom, and then I've got these other little pieces. And I'm going to do some fold-out pieces now that go here and here that we're going to do with some pattern paper. So what I've done for those is I've cut a couple pieces of pattern paper. And for mine, I've used this, this great brand new Bella Boulevard paper that they have coming out that's got a great pattern on one side and a great dot on the other side. Really fun for a project like this where you get to see both sides and they're all in a color scheme that match some of their new elements. For this one I use this new element sheet um, that's got all these great little journaling cards and stuff and then on the back is this fantastic little um, little dot pattern. And then I'm also going to use um, 
a, one of their sticker sheets from, from they've had out for a while um, called from their Plastino line that's just got all kinds of fun stuff that you can use for spring or summer or whatever you like. I really like their bright colors and so I love to use their, their uh, patterns. So what we're going to do is we're going to cut a couple of strips. So the first one we want is a 4x12. We're going to go ahead and score that at 6 inches and we're just going to fold that in half like this. I'm just going to set that to the side. That we're going to do another one that's 4 by 12. Once again, score that in the middle. We're going to put that down here for a second. And then we have one that's 4 by 6 and a quarter. I'm sorry, 6 and a half. 6 and a half. And we're going to score that at the half inch mark. And we're just going to fold that up. And what we're going to do with this one is we're going to do like we did at the beginning. We're going to form that into one long um, accordion piece. So we're just going to fold back that little half inch mark. That little, I'm sorry, that little half inch score like that. And we are just going to uh, layer these together to create one long accordion, like this. So what that does is just, oh, my cut line is way, oops, is way, way off. So I just need to do some trimming there. So what that's going to do is that's going to give us some fun um, elements here in our wallet. So the first piece we are going to actually be putting into the top fold out. And we want this to fold out... Um, so that the fold out is to the left. So we're going to be putting that up on the top like this, and it's going to fold out to the left like that. And then the second piece we actually want to fold out to the right like this. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to switch it up and put um, one of the patterns facing up and the other pattern, and then the back side facing up, so we get to see both of those. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and finish my wallet, and then I'll be back to show you all of the instructions to put the rest of this together on uh, what we do to embellish it and all the rest of that. But you've got the basic wallet album construction now, so you can go ahead and you can start um, cutting up the rest of your paper. Okay, so here's our finished project. It is our great little um, wallet. Like this, I put some stickers on the front. We've got, what I did is I took a couple extra stickers right here, backed them with some cardstock, I punched a little hole in the top, and then I tied them onto um, this ribbon that goes all the way around the flap there with some of our scrap, with some scrapper's floss, that paper floss. You could use a thin ribbon or whatever you like for that. So the flap opens up. It's a Velcro dot right here. And then as it unfolds, you can see um, all the different pieces at the very top. It's got a fold-out spot, and I used some of our stickers here. And then um, just um, did some other fun, um, some photo mats and stuff and, and such with, uh, with the stickers and with some of that embellishment paper. Um, this is the bottom section, and then this folds down, and there's some of these little inserts. So what I did with these inserts is I used both sides. Um, it's got some great journaling pieces and some great little photo mat pieces, and then on the back is this is this really cute dot. So you can really get full use out of that if you're buying the kit of this um, to really kind of um, put lots of great color and stuff into your book. And then this middle section right here, um, it folds out two ways. This It's got this long accordion fold like this, so it's got three panels. And then when you close it up and then when you fold it the other way, it's got two panels. So you can just kind of see how that works. Um, like I said, I use ribbon, some stickers, lots of fun embellishments. Um, this bottom part is a pocket. So remember we have that little flap at the bottom we folded up. I just stapled it closed. And then on the back side, I covered up the staples with my um, that piece of pattern paper. And this is, like I said, is left over from that um, sheet of journaling spots and such. So um, anyway, so this is our project for the week. And um, I owe you another project from last week. So I'm going to get that done and get that out to you either today or tomorrow. And it's just a really fun little spring banner for you. So this is our little uh, photo wallet for the week. And I will see you later today or tomorrow. Thanks.